to just vibey vibes welcome let's talk about love island australia okay have been so busy and it's been difficult because it's from in australia and then it ends by 11 o'clock when i'm actually at work so i cannot watch it so it's just been difficult i'm finding ways to actually live stream it and all of that so it just been difficult for me to be able to watch it so today i actually caught up on it from episode one to four so i just wanted to talk about it because it's really interesting and i do want to review it because i love it australia has beautiful people oh beautiful beautiful people i'm not gonna lie beautiful people in australia okay so um episode one people walked in was courtney jess i like her confidence like during the interview ari tina rachel and then the boys aaron thinks his husband material taco i like his personality ronnie i don't know i don't like ronnie not that i don't i hate him but and he was talking he wasn't making sense to me i don't know how the girls even step on everybody was like we were just too i don't know it was too i like goofy but he was just extra like in a way that i did not like but obviously that people can like him jordan i like jordan and ryan okay so the, the people coupled up so it was aaron with courtney Taku was with Rachel. Then he was the Ari first. Ari called him daddy. But then that was so funny. But then, whatever the case is, uh, Ari left him for Ryan. And Ryan has experience with 500 girls. I'm like 500. Like 500. Oh no. That's a lot. It's not. It's the fact that he counted it. And it was the fact that, like, how do you sleep with 500? Like, is it every day? Like, and he's young that's the i think he's 20 yeah, that's when between 22 to 25 so when did you start doing it that was my own it's just like if he was like 40 it would make sense to me but that young <laughs> anyway so then they all coupled up my favorite people was taku and ari oh i love ari okay so then um i'll just talk about <laughs> the fact that rachel and Courtney did not know what libido it was i was like what is the fact that jess was looking for a way to leave oh jordan for me jess was like oh it's red flag it's red flag i understand that the guy had red flags and yeah because you step forward for someone else she's that kind of people that don't want to take blame because she stepped forward for someone else person did not pick her she could have just been like okay i step forward i don't know i'm just you know what i mean i'm I don't know what's happening now but then to nasty i say oh I, I i i didn't trust you i didn't trust you i didn't trust you i was feeling some kind of way like seriously you saw the red flag you say you see red flag you run now like, why did you step forward that was how i felt like why did she step forward i understand that the guy actually later on and did something but that first episode i was thinking why did you step forward if you're going to be talking about oh your red flags made me feel the way your red flags made me then why did you step forward and also i was also saying the same thing about what's his name aaron because he stepped forward and then he said that jess is the kind of person jess step jess was available you were the first person to pick why did you not pick jess if you were so attracted to jess to start with you went with um courtney only for you to now tell her that you know sometimes i don't understand these people they don't understand what they're doing to someone's self-esteem you cannot do that pick who you want to pick let the person know not when you're with a girl and they ask you everybody said do you think that they were more attracted to them some of them were not sometimes you just say things to make people happy understand that the truth is important but in that kind of situation not really it was kind of like please you could have picked jess jess was available when you came into the villa but you didn't pick her if you had picked jess first and then just Jess left you then people would have understood but no you didn't so i'll so I, to be honest i don't feel pity for him for uh jess now doing him the way she's doing him and now being with taku because she didn't feel nothing with him i don't feel for him because did he feel for courtney when he did that Mm -hmm. at the end of the day it's still early days but i want to say that rachel rachel is the real mvp that guy's a smooth operator like how did she do that like she <laughs> i'm not blaming her right because jordan and she so jordan kissed her right but the fact that she cried about it because she felt so bad then in that same day like just kind of like what's her way for you know she and jordan are not a couple if you felt so bad about it, why are you coupling up with him? I understand that it's just the first day, so I'm not like, you know what I mean? I'm not, how would I say, holding them. I understand like, okay, it's a high test situation. You have to be in a couple, so sometimes people want to hold on to something that they shouldn't hold on to. But 
the fact that she did all of that like she went on like is like on like nothing is like she did everything and she was just innocent and the way whereby when the two new guys came in um mitch and chris the way that she just went straight to jordan and talked to him when she knew that the guys were there and just get herself free so that if the guys come she is free i was like girl if i wanted to be a player girl you need to teach me something because she's doing this thing so smooth nobody's even noticing it like wow that's all i'm gonna say so rachel on that note you're the real mvp i was so happy when the guys came because of Ari, at least she's not going to be going home. And I like the fact, I feel like um, Love Allah Australia, the producers are, producers are actually quite smart. Because they did that whole favorite. So that person cannot go home. So Taku was the favorite so he cannot go home. I like that. Because if Love Land uh, America had that sense, then, you know, you have to do that. You have to keep who the people want most times. So I like that. And I like the fact that Taku is beginning to find love. I hope Jess is real. Because he deserves it, it's quite sweet. So I'm waiting for Ari now to find love. Because I like Ari a lot. And then as for Lexi and Ryan, honestly, I feel like Ari, I understand that both of you, I don't like Ryan like that. I just feel like he's not straightforward. His eyes, I don't know, he's never, there's a way he behaves that just makes me feel like, he just red flags, like, I don't feel like he's straightforward like that. I feel like he's all up on Lexi because he has, at the moment, let the new girl come in, you know, the, the, the next bombshell. Let's see if she picks him, how he's going to react, you know, things like that, or how he's going to react because I don't trust him yet because now he knows that the girls, they need the girl to be safe. So, and I know him and Lexi had the whole conversation where he said, oh, he's feeling her, blah, blah, and then he kissed her. But the way he was like, well, uh, when she was asking, do you feel it? He's like, no. The way he said it, for me, is the way he said it. I'm sorry, I had in mind that I was going to go through the whole um, four episode. I wrote things down, but somehow everything is just coming together. You know, the way he said it, it was kind of rude. Like, no, like, I see, like, it is out, like, you can know, how can she even say such a thing? I'm like, are you serious? Ari is beautiful. Ari, I love her, her personality, everything. I love her. Like literally, so I don't understand. And then the whole um Taku and Aaron's um fight or whatever whatever you want to call it. I feel like Aaron has a right to be mad at Jess. Because Jess was telling him sweet nothing. It was the same way for me. I felt like Ryan was somehow because it's too early, I don't want to say gaslight, but it was close to gaslighting Ari. It's kinda of like, oh, why I why are you feeling that way? Oh, why? But you did not give her any any reassurance. You're going out on a date with someone. You're supposed to hug her, kiss her, and say I'll be back. Then when you when you're done, then you're supposed to go to her and tell her how you feel. But then you even wanted to give her a whole day before talking to her. If the guy's not there to go and talk to her, and then really, guy, you were wrong on that instance. If you liked the girl, you could have just told her I liked the girl. She would be fine. But the way you behave, she has every right to feel the way she felt. But then you acting like she shouldn't have felt that way for me was like, seriously? And then uh, it's, I think it's the same thing with the whole Jess and Aaron situation. Jess has been telling Aaron sweet nothings. I am sorry. When she went to him to talk to him, then he liked Lexi. So he was surprised. Interesting. It, one of the things too that I have to say about this, like when these people... They have options. They are like, I don't know how I feel about you. I don't know. The moment they are feeling danger, oh, I'm in love. There's spark. There's chemistry. There's this. That's why I feel like you do. So I don't know if it's the pressure of not going home. They want to stay in Love Island Villa for a long time. Or if it's actually really, really attraction that they are feeling. Because like people that you think were going to go the long way, like Ronnie and um, Tina. Like Ronnie and Tina. I was thinking they are going to go the long way. Because Ronnie really, really liked Tina. But Tina is just kind of like that. But... Anyway, I think the good thing is that lots of people like her. Mitch now likes her, so then she's fine. But I was like, sometimes you feel like these people are doing well, and then they just show you that they're not doing well. But I do feel like Jess is wrong with the way she treated Aaron, like telling sweet nothings, and all of a sudden it's like, you know, nah. So I understand him being hot. But the thing I don't understand is that he hurt someone else, but then he felt like that person's feeling does not mean nothing, like Courtney when he did. But now he's overtaking, like he's taking it to. So an extreme saying, I know he said he's joking. 
I understand. And I, understand. I feel like Tako should have understood and just, to be honest, not have the conversation with him. But I also understand that this is a show and the producers will tell him, you guys have to have a conversation. That's how reality show works. So I think maybe that might have been the reason why he talked to him about it. And even why the other guy even went to tell him about it, you never know. But um, my thing is this, right? Taku should have just understood him and say, oh, he just is uh, feeling like he was just joking. I would have just said, okay, and let it be. But saying that it was stupid what he did, yes, it was stupid. Like, the joke makes no sense. He was hot. It was coming from a hot place, and he wanted to actually do it, let's be honest. But I understand that Taku should have just felt for him. Imagine the situation he is. Sometimes people need to put themselves in other people's shoes. But does it mean that he should sabotage the dates? No, but at least he didn't sabotage it. So she just let it go. But I feel like now when he would not start talking back, that is when the first time when he was just explaining everything calmly for me, I was like, okay, just understand where he's coming from. He's hot. Someone's feeling his heart is hot, it's hot. And guys don't know how to take hot. They don't know how to take rejection. They know how to reject. They love rejecting. But to take it, hmm. Like especially when they're like in a relationship and a girl or like in whatever they feel like they already kind of have the girl and then the girl has to choose between two people and she's choosing someone else. Hmm. Ego. Ego gets hot. But for me, I just felt like when um he was having that conversation and then he said saying I don't take it personal and say shout is yeah, like you no, know, I like I don't care, I don't take it personal. It is personal. It was his date, he planned it. So it was personal. So I feel like really all in all aaron was wrong at the end in the beginning was he wrong yeah but he was hot so that should have been understood but at the end was he wrong yes he was wrong so that is how i see it so at the moment i don't see any of these couples actually being strong i kind of feel like chris and rachel can make it but that is if only if rachel would you know what i mean only if rachel would you know kind of like be, stick to him because Rachel kind of seemed like you know like she I don't know but I feel like they have um, lots of things to talk about and yeah I feel like they're gonna be good together I feel like Ari needs to find someone I feel like if um Jess stays with Taku then they're gonna go all the way but I don't know if they're gonna win it because in Love Island it's people that have gone through Johnny that actually wins if people that are together from the beginning blah blah yes we like them we like their Disney but they can come a second or third place but the people that went through that go through a lot so i feel like ari might be one of those that go through a lot because she's one a heart and a sleeve i like that fact that she has friends she and mitch are even friends and also huh, when they were doing the whole tax thing the one about they did so many ch um challenges uh, is it challenges or yeah it's challenges right when they were doing the whole uh tennis one you know when you did and they didn't show ari i'm like why did you edit ari out i didn't understand that one like why did they not show her because her kids, the person she kissed was not drama. I also feel like Aaron will be sick. Because Aaron and Ari, I think they're best friends. So I feel like Ari is just going to friend, keep him on, on the show. But yeah, I am more worried that Ronnie might go home. Because Tina has left him. I don't think he has any connection with anybody. So I'm seeing Ronnie more going home on... I'm actually seeing Ronnie going home more than any other person going home. So I'm seeing Ronnie going home. Yeah. He's the one I see going home the most. Because, um, yeah. Yeah. I see Ronnie going home. So that is that. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you some other time. Maybe from next, from Monday. I would maybe see if I can talk about the episode each day as they go. Or maybe I will see if I can just do it like this. Once in a week. And just talk about everything together. But I feel like I'm not. There's many things I wrote down. But then as I was talking about it. I just left it. Because just talk from my head. Okay. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you some other time. Bye bye.